Hello, how you going? Talking Dial Legends. Welcome to TKD Performance Tips. Giving you the little tips along the way, the breadcrumbs to the loaf, the tips that's going to lead you to become the best Talking Dial participant you can be. So today, today's session, we're going to look at kicking and making your kicks nice and sharp. Now what I find most people do when they kick is they try to kick too high too soon and compromise technique and form. So what I want to do is go back to base and give you some drills of how to make sure that form is spot on before you take it up in height. You're better off kicking low with good form, you're better off doing a side kick nice and with good form than uh, high with bad form. It's going to look far more impressive if from a pattern point of view or competition you lose more points losing balance, losing form then you will just kick into the wrong target, but your form is spot on. So here's some tips. Let's look at the side kick, because it's one of the hardest kicks to get right. Now I'm not going to go have time to go through everything, but I'm just going to go through some key things that could be helpful and give you a drill to practice this upcoming strong or weak. Now first of all, make sure your back foot doesn't face directly behind, because it's very hard to keep your balance that way. Your foot should be slightly about 15 degrees off centre, as a tight walk roper wouldn't walk along the rope this way, they walk that way with their feet in a side angle because it gives them better balance. So you can see the four dots, and I'm just going to go through a little draw I do, uh, whether it be on the bag or at home on my veranda, and I just have little targets that I aim for. So you might just start with the bottom dot, and all you do is you just do ten times, just nice and slow, come up, do the side kick with correct form, and back. Now make sure your foot is not pointing upwards, it's not pointing this way or in some awkward position. Make sure your foot, your, your, your foot sword is spot on because that makes the kick look sharp, long, elongated and makes it look far more impressive than having a sloppy foot. So don't kick with a sloppy foot, make sure your foot is nicely in its correct form. So what you do is you do 10 slow integrated with 10 fast. So you slowly come up, goes 10 slow, bring it back, Bring it down, come up, fast, and down. Then you do 10 there, then you work your way up. Might go up to the 7, up, slow with control, back, down, up, kick, back, down. Have this hand up, that way you can, if it's a pattern you can take it up, have it here, sparring and keep it there. Then you work your way up as you get comfortable without compromising, 4. So from here, I'll go to the 4, come up, Slow, back, down, up, down. Then I can go up to the one as I progress. From here, slow, up, back, down, up, and down. And I just drill that to the height that you're comfortable with. Then you do the other side. And you focus on balance. Try to get your centre of balance. So don't go up if you lose balance. So you're better off just getting a feel for where your centre of gravity is and start to get that feel, feel. That's why you do it slow motion. So you're trying to find the feel of your balance. So there's your tips for the strong. Go home, practice that. I always suggest about three times a week. If you do it every day, it gets a bit overdone. Three times a week, a little rest in between. And it can be done in your, I do it in the kitchen, I do it in the veranda, I do it in the dojang, I can do it in the park, I can do it anywhere I am when I'm holidaying, in an apartment, it doesn't matter. And I, you know, many times I've been in a, an apartment and I've done it with a curtain. And I just practice that because what happens is when you get into your patterns, your form just goes nice and great form and great control from all that little tip. So stay tuned, practice that, and I'll see you next strong for your next tip to make you a superb taekwondo. Participant. Take one.